Hey guys, welcome to New Spring Daily. My name is Heidi. I serve on our church's central communications team and I'm part of our Columbia campus. And today I just want to share a little bit of encouragement for anybody out there who's feeling forgotten. There's a lot of reasons you might feel that way today. I know for me, this particular weekend, a few days before Mother's Day, can often be a time where I start to wonder if God has forgotten me. Um, just a little bit of my story. I'm 38 years old. I have been married for 14 years, and my husband and I have never been able to conceive. So I know what it feels like when you stop getting invitations to birthday parties because you don't have a kid to bring to the party. Um, when your close friends move into new seasons of life and have new friends who understand their struggles in a way that you can't, it's real easy to feel forgotten. And especially around Mother's Day, if you're someone who's still waiting and longing for a family of your own, it's real easy to wonder if God's forgotten you. And so today I want to take us to a story in Genesis 16. Um, there is a woman named Hagar who is a servant. Um, and she's getting mistreated by her boss, basically. Her boss is jealous of her, she's bullying her, she's mistreating her, and nobody's coming to her aid. Um, the boss's husband has basically said, hey, you do what you want with your people. And she's feeling, Hagar's feeling pretty forgotten. Um, so she decides she's gonna run away. She feels like nobody there cares about her and she is out. And so she runs away, she finds herself sitting in a spring, and the Bible says the angel of the Lord meets her there. And he tells her in verse 11, the Lord has listened to your affliction. He goes on to tell her that she's going to have a son. He tells her some things that are going to be true about her son, and she is just totally taken aback. And Hagar says, you are a God of seeing. Truly, here I have seen him who looks after me. And I just want you to know, if you're in that situation where you are feeling forgotten, Hagar's God who saw her in her despair on the side of that spring, that is your God. That is our God. He is a God who sees. There's a verse in Psalm 56 that describes God holding our tears in a bottle. Every tear is counted. He knows all of your joy and all of your pain, and none of it is lost on him. And so something that really helps me, especially on weekends like this, where I need to remember that my God sees me, um, is to really hear God speak that to me. And one of the most tangible ways that we can do that is to read scripture over ourselves. So I'd love to share with you guys some of the verses that help me remember that God sees me and he's with me. Zephaniah 3.17 says, he takes great delight in you. He sings over you. Hebrews 13, 5 and Numbers 23, 19 say, I will not leave you or forsake you. In Matthew 28, 20, the last thing Jesus says before he ascends to heaven, I am with you always. Psalm 121, 8 says, the Lord will watch over your coming and your going now and forevermore. There is not a step that I take that is lost from his sight. And in Ephesians 2.10, it says, You are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. He prepared in advance for you to do. So if you're somebody who is waiting and longing and wondering if God's forgotten you, I need you to hear me. Your Father in heaven takes great delight in you. He sings over you. He will not leave you or forsake you. He is with you always. He watches over your coming and your going, and he has good works for you to do. And I want you to know these things are true for you, whether or not you have kids. They're true for you whether you're single. They're true for you whether you're married. They're true for you if you're young, and they're true for you if you're older. These things are true for you because of your status as his kid. So take heart in that new spring. Be encouraged. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for joining us for New Spring Daily. This content has been designed in a time when we are socially distant to be spiritually unified. We have a lot more resources that will help you and those you love at newspring.cc. So please swing by the website. And I specifically want to invite you that are checking us out for the first time to text NEW here 
to 30303. Until tomorrow, that's it from the New Spring Daily.